Okay, um, so this week is normally a very special week in the top amateur calendar, uh, the Lytham Trophy. Um, it's a tournament that, you know, is close to my heart. I won it twice in 1990, 1991, well, 30 years ago, I can't believe it. Um, but just great memories, a fabulous golf course, um, precision golf course, a thinking man's golf course, uh, strategy and... Um, it was never a golf course that I felt you could go low low on, particularly in, in you know, the normal wind. Um, so it was all about placement and, and keeping the ball in the fairway, staying out of the bunkers, hitting the middle of the greens and just uh, just sticking in. So uh, obviously 30 years ago is a long time. I don't remember a great deal, but I do remember the first time I won it, I, I was tired, I think, with Nigel uh, Williamson coming down the last hole and I drove it into the edge of the fairway trap um, I think it was the second fairway trap on the left but the ball was outside the bunker and I was inside the bunker I had to stand inside the bunker to play it and I, I, I was hitting about a seven iron I think into the wind uh, and I made good contact and naturally it went left and missed the green left left of the trap I got down there and I had a lob wedge in my hand I had to pop it over the trap, which I, I did successfully to about eight or nine feet. And I know I had this eight, nine footer to, to win the tournament. And um, fortunately it went in and I, I won my first sort of major amateur title as a, as a senior. Um, a hugely proud day for me to, to get my name on that trophy. And um, yeah, obviously one of my favorite tournaments of all time. I remember the second time I won the Lytham Trophy in 91. I played with uh, a young player called Michael Welsh, who at the time was winning everything in boys golf. He was a seriously good player. Uh, lots of titles under his belt. And um, we played, I think it was Fairhaven in the morning on day one. And he was beating me. And I think I was four over with four to play. And I birdied the last four holes to shoot level par and drove over to Royal Lytham for the afternoon round and it was blowing quite well and I remember just playing really well I think I shot I may have shot something like 67 or 68 I can't honestly remember but I, I remember playing very well and on a very windy day and uh, <laughs> in the years to come um, Michael said to me he said uh, uh, I think he was suitably impressed at the time. He didn't know what all the fuss was about because I'd won the Brabazon and the Lytham the year before. And uh, this was the first big major of the year in 1991. And uh, I went on to win that tournament. And, uh, and Michael said after that display from the 15th tee at Fairhaven through the next 22 holes, he said, now he understood. Uh, what it was all about so yep Royal Lytham you can't overpower it it is a thinking man's course um, hit the fairway stay out of the bunkers take two putts where you can wait for the birdies and um, and just enjoy the whole history of the place it is one of the most magnificent golf courses in this country so um, to those of you that can't compete this this year um, I'm sorry um, let's hope uh, the Lytham Trophy comes around sooner rather than later and enjoy what is a fabulous few days. Play well.